Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and I noticed that a lot of you guys have been writing that your computer crashes, you don't know what's going on, and I've seen all these YouTube videos giving you the basics and, you know, really outdated information, and I wanted just to touch back on it. I usually repair it for everybody in a cinch over the phone, and uh, that's about it, so I give them a couple of pointers here and there. So first we're going to go over the... Um, things that are common and then we're gonna go over some things that are not so common now this will work for game crashes or Windows crashes okay so first off I gotta get this out of the way let's make sure it is not uh, hardware okay because hardware that's you know there's no way you could fix it unless you get in touch with the uh, you know actual provider the one that you bought it from or whatever and uh, probably you can cash in on the warranty or whatever a major major issue okay so we're gonna start with this is memory okay so uh, for, for memory testing and you don't want to even have one okay uh, so you go into here you just type in the search box memory or whatever go to window uh, if it doesn't come up just write Windows memory diagnostics okay and you're gonna click on it now you're gonna see it's gonna ask you uh, check for problems next time you start your computer or restart you wanna do the restart option so then it, it just does the scan uh, right away now I am gonna tell you one thing if you have even one percent or one problem that means your memory sucks and that's what's giving you the hang-ups you wanna return it most of them have a lifetime warranty you wanna return them get in sorry <clears throat> get a new one uh, ASAP and uh, you know deal with it from there that's the best way to, to do it but that's really uh, how you're gonna pull uh, this off now if the memory and everything is great it still could be your video card I wish there was a way I could test out a video card but the um, you, you know if it's a hardware problem now if it's a driver problem it's very simple you just go into here into uh, my computer you know this computer whatever go to uh, properties uh, go to device manager right here okay close out of this okay and you're gonna look over here and there's gonna be um, and I I'm gonna tell you I prefer you guys actually do it in another way but we're gonna get right into this so you go into the Nvidia you just you know um, uninstall the driver and then uh, get the latest drivers from Nvidia.com and where you're gonna post up uh, all of your uh, you know information and then you're gonna be getting your latest driver or even a uh, guru 3d and you can do it. What I recommend you guys do is you go to guru3d.com and you download this little appy right here, which is, I'm going to show you guys right now. It's called DDU, right? So you're going to double click on that and you're going to install it. Uh, and you're going to see, now I, I, you know, I erased it because there's no need for me to do this anymore. But as you can see, you have it right here. And now when you're going to double click on it, it's going to tell you to go to safe mode. You're going to see right here. Uh, and this is the best way to actually uninstall a driver. A lot of you guys, when you uninstall a driver, you don't know, but you actually have, you see, detected that you are not in safe mode uh, for a better cleanup without issues. It is recommended that you reboot and go to safe mode, okay? So that's what you do. And then you go to clean and restart. That's what you want to click on. And then what happens is it actually cleans your entire drivers out, okay? And then what you could do is you could just erase it right from there. I'm going to be erasing these because these are uh, other options. I'm going to get into that in... Uh, uh, in a second uh, but that's pretty much uh, the best way to do it uh, to, uh, to, to get this up and running if your graphics card let's say your games get stuck or something gets stuck uh, when you're doing uh, you know let's say uh, editing or you know working with Adobe programs like Photoshop or whatever any type of graphic de demanding uh, things tasks what ha tends to happen is you know you you end up getting frozen or whatever uh, blue screen to death sometimes it just restarts you don't know what the hell's going on you want to make sure that you um, you know that you take care of that by doing by doing this okay another major thing is network adapters and believe it or not this really has a bad bad problem right here okay so what you want to do is you want to go into Intel go on Google I just type this in Intel R1211 gigabyte network connection uninstall this one and install the latest driver that they have you're gonna find out that it's gonna do that it's uh, your your computer is not gonna get stuck mo uh, most likely I mean this is one of the major major issues now if you guys here's a little bit of a complicated one not that complicated but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into into the search box here and type in services okay so you see right here you go into services now 
If you guys are starting a clean reinstall of Windows and whatever, my recommendation is to take a picture of this very screen right here so you know what's enabled, what's disabled. Uh, there's also, I'm going to do a video on how to speed up your computer because there's a ton of crap that you don't need to run. So you could just simply disable them as I did right here. So you guys could do the same exact thing. Uh, and you can uh, have a faster computer, but you want to make sure in that you look at this and right here This is the ultimate part uh, and, and this really works almost for everybody that I help out you go into oh sorry Let me just do it slow so you go right into the taskbar right here you right click then you go right into task manager Okay, you left click on that uh, And you're set up right here then you go to file and you go to run right so you go right here uh, you're clicking on right here right uh, to press ok to ms config right ms c oh, let me just get this right so you guys could see it because i think i'm going a little too fast and i want to make sure everybody's getting it so ms c o n f i g just in case it's uh filming from far or whatever because i'm doing a screen recording here so you just do that and you hit the ok and boom you are placed with this right here now what i tend to do is you see all of this what i tend to do is i first enable all then what I do is I restart. You don't want to enable all. As you see, I have some things that are stopped over here that I don't want running at all, right? So there's things that you're going to want running and things that you don't. Now, so you know what the heck you're doing. You can go one by one, and that is the best way to do it. So you enable all. I actually prefer that you disable all. And afterwards, when you restart, you'll see it takes some time to get... Uh, assigned into Windows, but then you could play that one at a time. Keep checking, restart, checking, restart. So let's say you wanted to do something, you could just hit a, a checkpoint on one of the boxes, then you just do apply and okay, and it's going to ask you to restart. You restart, it gets stuck, you do it again. Now if you're looking here, let's say I wanted to check out, let's do some random crap here. Uh, let's say DHCP, right? So you go here and you type DHCP and it'll take you right there. So you don't know what the hell that is. You double click on it and it tells you right here. Registers and updates, IP address. You see, so you get the whole shebang. It tells you everything about it. Then you can decide if you want to stop it or you want to start it. You understand? And that's what you do. That's a big, big way that you guys could do it. What I like to do to simplify matters is just to go to this, enable all, then I restart the computer. It, you know, you have only a, a fraction amount of time till it freezes on you. You uncheck all of these, but you still enable the rest that's over here, right? Then you restart. If you get stuck, you restart. You enable all again, restart again, go back. Then go to where you didn't uncheck and then start another line of uncheck. So as you can see, I had a major issue here. Okay, and as you can see, I figured it out. A number one cause of my game crashes for some unknown reason was Steam client service. Okay, so Steam still works as you can see. It still works normally. I'm going to show you here. Still works normally. Didn't install obviously a lot of things, but uh, you know, the only the games that I'm playing right now. So, it install it, 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 it's normal it's normal here, but I disabled Steam client. What I've noticed is when this is on, my computer gets stuck every every freaking second. But what happened is since I knew this was the slot that was all unchecked, I took a picture of this uh, thing right here, and then I could play around one by one by one by one by one like that until I got what I wanted. And as you can see, I unchecked a lot, and then, you know, that's it. You restart the machine, and then you'll find out that you guys have no hang-ups on your games or anything like that. Now, on the games, you could also go here. This is the obvious one where you go right into properties. Uh, you go right into, uh, up the, you know, you could update to the whatever. Uh, go into verify integrity of game files. This, I'm going to tell you, is outdated information you get from a lot of YouTubers who are just copying one another and it's extremely stupid to do. Uh, and they're completely filling the internet with nonsense just because they... You don't want to get their channels up and running, but I think it's very stupid. They should actually concentrate on the reality that this thing no longer really has any use anymore. The only thing that you do want to do is go into here, browse local files. Now, I'm telling you the truth. So let's say this is right here, right? Let's say my game got stuck. What you want to do is you want to right-click on the actual, you see in the game folder, the actual icon. You go to Properties. You go to compatibility. Now, a lot of the times you could check that on, and if you started in Windows 8, if it doesn't work, Windows 7, and it'll work without getting hung up. But you want to make sure that all your games go as run this as 
ad, uh, as an administrator. Now you're talking to a guy that this happened to. Obviously, this is why the, uh, this is checked right here. You hit the apply button, you hit OK, and you just run it through Steam, and you shouldn't have any hangups on your games or do what I told you with the compatibility list. Okay, and that's the best way to go. Now another way, another possible reason is that you have to reinstall Steam, uh, uninstall Steam, and reinstall it. You'll find out that it works also for a lot of people. Now here's another major thing that a lot of people do not you know do not even uh, you know think about is that you right click right here and you go to where's that damn thing power options okay now I prefer doing it this way because you're gonna see it takes you right there so you go to right control panel you go right into here and you go right into system security you go right into power and even though I got balanced, I'm going to go to high performance. I just did it just so I can show you guys. Uh, even though this is the Ryzen, so maybe, I, I don't know, I'll leave it on that. I mean, I'm not having really any issues, but let's go. I'm going to go to high performance anyway, uh, which favors everything. You want to set the turn, uh, turn off display at never and put the computer to sleep never, right? Then you go to change power settings, okay? Now you're going to find out that I don't know why, but until now there's some issues with the PCIe Expre uh, Express. So you go into the PCIe Express and then the link state power management. Some of you guys are going to have two settings here or whatever. Set them both on off. I just set it off to off. You hit the apply button and you're ready to go. Okay, that's really all there is to it. Then restart the computer. Now, every time you do one of these things that I'm showing you guys, as you see, I'm recording my uh, computer right now, doing a still frame for you guys. But every time you guys are doing something like that, I'm going to erase this. What you do is you restart your computer. So even when you, re, uh, when you uninstall Steam and you reinstall Steam, restart your computer. When you're changing the power, uh, the power uh, supply into whatever, restart your computer. When you're doing a memory scan, you're going to restart anyway, so that's fine. When you're doing something with the services, for example, and let's say, or the task manager, as you can see right here, I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going into here. Let's say I'm going to enable this. Uh, let me go into start. Uh, wait, sorry, oops. Right here. So right now, let's say I wanted to um, enable user experience. Uh, you know what? Uh, web account manager, let's say. And I'm hitting the apply button. You're going to see, what does it say? Restart. So you see, all of these things will actually freaking aid you. So I'm, I'm letting you guys know. But every time, do a restart, and you guys should be fine. Now, your games will not get stuck. At least I, I'm almost sure of it. And uh, also, your computer won't be stuck. Another big thing I'm going to tell you right here is they have all of these things, like uh, these things right here that control your, your gigabyte card or whatever. As you can see, I also have Extreme Gaming Engine. Uh, you know, I can make it running. Uh, if you see that your games are getting stuck, try to disable both of these. Okay, it's very important that you do that. I just highly recommend it because some of the games, for example, uh, the one I'm running, uh, this one gets stuck all the time unless I uh, disable this and I'll show you which one I'm talking about um, right here Middle Earth Shadow of War so every time I'm playing it it gets stuck uh, it could have to do with a lot of the automatic settings that some of these uh, programs are coming with so if you guys uh, could just uh, undo them take them out of your uh, out of your thing you know just disable them just for the time you know just for the time being and then afterwards you'll see that your game does not get stuck at all okay that's all I gotta say now another thing is very rarely this happens but sometimes it does GeForce experience you want to get rid of it ASAP I don't have an issue so I keep it but you see I'm not even signed on I don't even care but I'm gonna probably disable it anyway you don't want that experience thing going on because a lot of the times it screws up with um, with uh, there's conflicts and stuff that it causes which gets your computer to shut off when you're you know high in gaming mode or whatever so that's uh, basically how you repair the entire thing all together if you guys have any any type of in it, uh, of an issue do me a favor reach me as always Always, your brother here only gives you honest reviews, honesty, honesty in every way to repair. Uh, I do this for my clients, and I want people to do it for themselves. Uh, if it doesn't work, you probably have some other error. Some it could be hardware uh, error. So don't obviously blame me for it. Check the hardware. See if there's anything you can do. For example, I know a guy who's uh, uh, PCI uh, e. Um, 
uh, slot actually died out on him and it didn't work even though it was showing that it was recognized and everything when we even put a new uh, GPU in there same exact issue we had the same issue and then after we uh, had his uh, motherboard replaced suddenly uh, you know amazing how it just works so uh, you know there's a lot of issues that sometimes are extremely hard to detect but uh, and you should probably get it serviced uh, but, uh, you know I don't know if it's gonna even the service guy is gonna know but if it is software, a software issue, which is very common with Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7, unfortunately, there's ways around it that you can work and you can uh, get it to be uh, normalized. Uh, you know, normal. normal. If it's not normal, then you know it's probably something hardware or an issue that I have no idea of, but let me know what your, if an error window pops up and what the error code is. And as always, I will try to duplicate it and make a video to help you guys out ASAP so you guys don't have to go through, you know, the painstaking, you know, hours that it took me or anybody that really does repairs and stuff. I do this, you know, I, I donate my time for uh, fire departments and stuff like that where I just take a bunch of their computers, whatever sucks, I fix. So I like doing that for everybody. So I, I figured why not put a video out here? I do uh, a lot of reviews and I also do a lot of uh, troubleshooting, but I figure I do a big troubleshooting problem, which is this, which I've realized many of my clients are taking their computers to me uh, for that. So I figured I'd make this video to help out. If you like what you see, uh, you know, uh, do me a favor. The only way you could really help me out, I don't do Patreon, I don't do any of that crap. The only way you could help me out is subscribe, spread the word, like, and hit that bell button. Have a good one, y'all. I hope this works out for you. If it doesn't, uh, let me know what it says, and I'll try to duplicate it and come out with a video and a solution as fast as possible. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.